Hi, I'm Jeff, and you want to know how to insert sounds in a Microsoft Word document. Well, you can actually, which is kind of cool. If you print it out, it's not going to sound quite right. In fact, it won't sound like anything at all. It'll just look like an icon on the page. But you can still have the actual sound itself in the Microsoft Word document so that if you send the document off to somebody else through email or on disk, uh, they will actually have the sound as well, uh, which is kind of cool. So here I am in my little article, and I'm going to go up to Insert right at the top here, and Object. If I go to Create from File, and browse, I can find the file I'm looking for. In this case, it's a WAV file called Warning. I'm going to double click on that and hit OK. We now have the Warning WAV file right there. It's inserted, it's embedded in the Microsoft Word document. Uh, if you actually save this, you'll find that the file size is larger by the size of that WAV file. Uh, it's actually part of the document now. Anybody who receives the, this document will also receive the WAV file. Um, there are some other options as well. If I delete that, I'm going to go back up and insert. Object, create from file, browse, I'm going to get the same file again. And there's some options here. You have link to file and display as icon. If you click display as icon, you, you can actually choose the icon that is displayed in your Microsoft Word document. Uh, there's a default one there. And of course, if I don't click that, it's going to be displayed as whatever application on the user's system can actually use that object. Uh, in this case, I, I have a player that plays WAV files, so it uses that icon. You can also uh, click here on the link to file checkbox. That means it links directly to the file. It's not about embedding the file. It's not about keeping it included in the document. It's about making sure that if you change the file later and you reopen this document, you're actually going to be getting the new version of the file. Make sure that you always have the latest version of the file. There's also one last real quick way to do this if you're ever in a hurry. You can actually just go to the folder where your sound file is, grab it, and drag it right in where you want it inserted. And there it is. I'm Jeff, and this is how to insert a sound in Microsoft Word document.